too much. How's your ears? Hey guys! Hey guys! Welcome to In Bed with Tam, and we have one of my favorite guests of all time, Allison Brett Snyder. <laughs> Snyder, my Brett. You might know her from um, an, a very successful Instagram account called 25 Park, which is named after all the stores that you had all around New the, York City. Correct. So you were known to inspire and motivate and empower women, young women Piss and older women. Too. Piss them off too. And speak about the truth. How did you become like the motivational you know, Oprah Instagram? Oh my God, chickadee. Oprah's my idol. I think that my Instagram account, truthfully, when I launched it, mm -hmm. it was really just like another avenue to attract customers. And then I just started using it for like really like what felt right to me, like any inspirational, motivational quote and, and no other fashion account did that. One of the things that you said is you hate it when women tear themselves down, especially in front of their kids, oh. which I agree with. And you know, most women, they, they look in the mirror and they go, oh, I'm so fat. Cause it's just like a saying that you're always hearing a conversation right. with yourself. Mm -hmm. And I realized I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want my daughter to have such bad body image because she saw her mother always thinking that she wasn't attractive. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you're molding them. Yes, like they're exactly. so impressionable. Exactly. Exactly. And I would have like these moms in my store, they'd be like a size zero. They'd come out of their dressing room, they have like their seven, five, and three-year-old daughters on the couch, and they'd be like, do you have a fat? And I'd be like, you can't do that. Oh my God, I'd be like, no, no she looks beautiful, because she's beautiful. I'd be like, you don't look fat, you look beautiful, because you're beautiful. Giving her the like, I'm gonna kill you, do you feel? Do you always feel like, is it a battle to go, okay, I'm good enough, I'm good enough, I'm good enough, because that takes time to learn. It takes a lot of yeah. time to learn, and it takes a lot of like, therapy. You're training. You're a lot of therapy. Oh my God, therapy's amazing. Therapy's therapy? amazing. Just, are you kidding? Oh my God. I, I think I should start going twice a day. I, uh, I just like, I'm like, I like, love therapy. Blah, 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 blah. Do you have your husband? Yes, you do leave hating each other, because okay. like, you're getting it all out. And I think it's a fucking miracle we're not all lesbians. Like there are a lot of girls that are like, experiment, I was yeah. like, never that girl. Just do it to be but by edgy. the way, great for them. I'm like not like judging. Angelina I'm not Jolie. about judging. But Your fave. Don't get me started on Angelina <laughs> Jolie. That's I what like I have to say her. To you. Angelina Jolie is like maybe the most sexual being on earth. Okay, she is. You I'll give it to her. I might want to have. I, see, if see I was what gonna I, have see sex with I mean? a woman, maybe you would. Yeah. No, actually, no, because I don't like her soul. What about and me? for me, it's you. I love. I'd have sex with you. I'm good at How about that. I believe. But that. I don't have a lot. I mean, You're passionate. I do some, I mean, You're passionate. I'm very passionate. I like get into it. Like it's seen. Yeah, I get you know into it. I mean, it's like. Yeah. It's gonna be five minutes. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna like, be five minutes. Really make it worth it. Make it, make it. make it worth it. Make I it a memorable it performance. Who wants it to last longer? It's, oh my god! I'm like, hurry, oh my god. hurry! My yeah. husband said the other night, he's like, I want it to last all night. I'm like, I don't. Me, me too. Not me. I'm like, okay, so, so Angelina, yeah. you ready? Back to Angelina. Okay, she's the kind of girl I think you turn your back. Nope. Yeah. I mean, literally, this is what happened. And there might be a stabbing. And and, and not a stabbing, like oh. Oh, like, my husband. My, where's my husband, husband go? Where's my husband? Oh, he's sticking, oh, he's sticking it, it in he's her. He's sticking it in her. In the corner. Right. Men are primitive, okay? Yeah. She's hot. Let's face Sucks, it. She's food, hot. sleep. Right. Maybe if they didn't film that movie together, it wouldn't have Jen and Brad would have gotten through that rough patch. And the way they flaunted themselves for me was I like, agree. That bye bye. Was, that was a little. Bye bye. How about like go underground, be discreet, be respectful? Right. And then Laura Dern came out and said, Billy Bob Thornton, I was married to him. He went to film a movie with Angelina Jolie and he never came home. So but I'm so you like said psychotic. You don't like, and I so agree with you. People are so self-centered and obsessed and selfish, and you can see it so oh much God. when you travel. Where do you want me to it's start like that one? It's like people rail over you. Like they don't even you're open like, the door. Me, and I'm baby. like such a feminist. So it's not about that. Okay. Open the door if you see someone with like literally two backpacks on, a crying baby, trying to get the stroller. Yeah. Just be a good person. Oh my God. It's not about male or female. I go up to women on the plane, like right before we're boarding, if there's a baby, I'm like, listen, I've flown with toddlers or you know. Yeah. I know it's difficult. If you have a moment of like you don't know what to do, yeah. I'm sitting in row blah 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 blah. I swear to God, and I have walked up and down aisles oh, with babies. Because you're amazing. And I love it. And I'm like, oh, I can be a mommy again. You want to have another kid? Oh my God, I want like five more. You do? Yeah, I want to be like. I had such a That's shitty That's the only thing about Angela. The only I like. I want to have like 45 kids. Did like you her. have postpartum at all? No, I don't think so. We all I mean, have some I, form of I, I would say for the first year and a half, my daughter still doesn't sleep. So that sleep deprivation yeah, that's thing. That's a problem. My kids sleep. See, that's why you want to If my kid didn't sleep, I would have a problem. And did you have a vagina over? Oh, they came right out, baby. They flew right out. And the was doctor made my husband hold one leg. I was like, really? Really? I'm like, literally, my legs are in the air, and she's like pushing. He's holding one leg, and she's holding the other. I'm like, do you think maybe a nurse could hold the other? And then I'm thinking, this could be a great way to get out of sex sometimes. Like, oh, yeah. honey, remember that moment when, when you're like, like, a head, when like there was a head, head coming, coming out of my out vagina? Of it, with and he's blood. like, Ey! And I'm like, 
sweating and screaming and cursing and... So I want to talk about your five fucking dollars. Yes. So you recently had a campaign where you raised how much money? I'm embarrassed to say, I don't know the exact amount. Okay. I really should look. But in a nutshell, what happened was a close friend of mine came to me and said, there's a teacher at the school in New York City. She's like the most loved teacher. She teaches preschool. She has colorectal cancer. There's this experimental drug, which is now her only chance left. Okay. It's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Of course, it's not covered by insurance. Can you put something on your Instagram? And they had already raised yeah. some money. Oh, so we did it. The pharmaceutical company reached out to me. They followed my Instagram. They read the story. I flew to San Francisco. You're we amazing. made an announcement on my Instagram. Called the girl. Facetimed her. She was bawling. We were bawling. My kids came because, like, for me, that's like the lessons they can't learn in school right. of like humanity and kindness and helping others. And what do you want your legacy to be? My legacy? Yeah to always help others. I'm like crazy about that. I just don't get it. Our whole motto in our house is upstanders, not bystanders. And my kids are now like, you don't stand by and watch. You stand up and you help. So guys, thank you so much for watching In Bed with Tamman with Allison Brett Schneider. Follow her on at 25 Park. She is my new bestie. I love her so much. She's inspiring females everywhere and some males too. You inspire me every inspire day, especially me. with those boobies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so thank you so much. So subscribe, comment below, and keep watching the show. Bye! Who would you rather wear someone else's dirty underwear or use their toothbrush? Use their toothbrush. Ew, underwear, like crusty vagina juice? But you know what, you just flip it inside out. Ew, ew, crusty you know vagina mean? juice. I'd probably do underwear, because oral hygiene is like. Ugh, no, oral hygiene, I don't care. <laughs> I'd wear I have none, I have none. <laughs> so what do I care?